All right, guys, welcome back. So we've done lots of jump rope training. We've done some high intensity interval training, and now it's time to focus on some core training. So a lot of you have been asking exactly, how do we train our core, make it more strong? How do I get those abs, make it nice and strong? Well, let me tell you, everything that we do incorporates the core through proper breathing and posture, but this circuit here, let me tell you, and this is gonna light you up like a Christmas tree. So grab your timer, make sure you got a mat, I'm gonna show you the weights you're gonna need, and let's get busy. Yeah. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna need a mat, and you're gonna need a dumbbell or a plate. So I've got a couple of options here. I've got a 10 kilogram plate, which is 22 pounds, or I have a 20 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna switch out between the two so you can see how to use them to make sure, of course, number one, that you're safe and that you're using an appropriate load. Because number one is always safety. If it's gonna fall in your face and crush your teeth, it's not safe. Please agree. Okay. First one we do is we'll call the push crunch. So we're gonna do it without a weight first. Lay yourself down. Now, if you have a tight lower back, you might wanna bend your knees a little bit just to take a little bit of the stress off. But ideally, we want the lower back on the mat the entire time. You're gonna start with your arms over your chest. You're gonna sit up and push yourself as far forward this way and push the implement or the weight up towards the ceiling, hence the push crunch. Now, as you get it up there, that's awesome. When you get back down, nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> Back down to the mat. Again, inhale, breathe out, and sit all the way up. Back down. Now, if you do have good lower, lower back mobility, you can keep your legs straight. And again, still engage the same muscles, and come down like so. So like I said, I'm using a weight plate or a dumbbell. Now, if you are using a weight plate, start small. Test your metal and then work yourself up. You don't wanna to go too heavy too fast. You can always add more weight, but if you go too heavy, you might negate the full range of motion of the exercise, okay? So again, grabbing your, your, your plate. Fix your shorts for modesty. <laughs> All right, holding it over your chest, okay? Stepping up, all the way up, pushing your chest as far forward as possible and pushing the weight up as high as possible while still maintaining a good grip. Come back down with control, just like so. All the way up, and all the way down. When you dismount, just put the weight off to the side. Now showing you with a dumbbell, I prefer these nice hex weights because you can get a good grip on them, but whatever weight you have in there, you might want to just grab the handle itself and hold it up over your chest. Say for this one, I'm gonna grab the weights from the side, hold it over the chest, and again, not the face, but the chest, because as I guide it up, the weight stays in front of me, Nice and easy. All the way back down. One more time up. And then back down. Perfect. Okay, throw that one off to the side. Okay, the next exercise we call the four point core plank from the feet. Okay, watching closely. Make sure you count them out. You're gonna have your standard plank position. Make sure your shoulders over your hands. We don't wanna drift back. Keep the shoulders right over top of the hands. So we use the arm as a brace. You're gonna to tap toe to toe one. Knee to elbow, two, side, three, four. One, two, three, four. From the front, looks like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, making sure to take your time with it. You don't wanna speed through this. The work is done by actually holding the knee at the elbow on either arm and then pushing back. Speed comes with time, technique is paramount and most important right off the bat. Last one, we have the side plank. So you wanna stack your shoulder on top of your elbow and other arm up and you actually wanna reach up, not just be lazy, just kinda of hold the arm up, flopping back and forth like a floppy salmon. You wanna reach up for the ceiling. That's gonna help pick your hips up and keep your body parallel to the ground. Nice and high up, just like so. We're gonna hold that isometrically for the 25 seconds. Conversely, we're gonna flip over to the other side. Is that my good side? It's holding it up, reaching up for the sky. Okay? So those are gonna be our three slash four exercises for this uh, circuit. We're gonna grab our timer just like we always do. Bam, there's my timer. Okay, here we go. We're gonna set it up for 25 seconds work. Sometimes people think 20 seconds work is enough. 25 seconds is a little bit better because those first five seconds, eh, it's a little bit of a mash. Okay, 25 seconds work, 10 seconds break. 
Keep it nice and intense as we like to do. All right, guys, here we go. Starting with the push crunch first. So make sure your weights are close by because 10 seconds goes by very quickly. I'm gonna start with the dumbbell and I'll switch over to the plate afterwards. All right, team, here we go. Set your timer. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, nice and slow down. Especially on the way down, you're trying to resist the weight pushing you into the floor. We call this an eccentric load. So you're resisting the lengthening of all your core rectus abdominis muscles. Good, okay. Weight off the side. Now we're gonna flip over for that four point core plank. I'm gonna go a bit of an angle here so you can see the feet moving. Here, ready? Two, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And make sure that you breathe on every rep. Engage that diaphragm. The slower you go, ooh, the better it is. And I mean that ooh, in a very relative sense. So now we're gonna right arm down, left arm up. Stack the feet one in front of the other, reaching up and reach for the ceiling. Good, holding here. You wanna try and keep your body parallel to the ground, your hip doesn't just sag. You don't want your hip, legs to lay on the ground. Pull the hip up, so you're actually engaging all these muscles here. Okay, on the next round, I'm gonna show you a more advanced version for those of you that are a little bit more um, used to doing the planks from the side. Again, reach up, so everything stacks right through that arm, right onto that elbow. Nice and easy. Reach up, good. Okay, now we're gonna flip over, and when I flip over, I'm just gonna flip this way. So you're not looking at my butt the whole time. So left arm down, stack the feet, adjust your wardrobe, and reach. Now, as you're holding these exercises, you wanna make sure you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Pulling the hip up, so you're engaging all the muscles on the bottom side of your core here. Bottom side in regards to this relation. Reaching up. Oh, four seconds. 25 seconds takes a long time when you're doing this. Woo, okay, now we're gonna go back to that plate crunch, or the push crunch. Now I'm gonna use the plate this time, <clears throat> just to show you a little bit of a difference. Ready, here we go, up, back down nice and easy, up, back down nice and easy. Really important to pair the breathing, especially with your core exercises. The deeper the breath, the more engagement through your abs, and most importantly, supplying your body whew, with the oxygen necessary to get this done. So again, we're flipping over for the four point plank from the feet. Ready, shoulders over the hands, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Always making sure that your shoulders are over your hands and you're not drifting back as you're doing this, right? Keep it right over top. Make contact with your elbow. Woof. Okay, now we're down for our side planks. Last two rounds here, guys. Right arm down first. Now, you have your left foot on top and in front of your right foot. Watch the change. So come up onto your toes, roll under, tap the back of your shoulder, Feet flat, and then reach up. Feet, establish the base, reach under, tap, feet, back up. Nice and simple. Feet and up. Good, always keeping the hips up. Woof, oh, good news. Eight of eight, guys, this is the last one on this side. Left arm down, <clears throat> right foot on top and in front. Reaching up, let's go up on the toes, reach under. Feet flat, reach up. Toes down, feet flat, and reach up. Toes, feet flat. Almost done, guys. Last one. Reach over. All right. And that's a killer four and a half minute ab crusher. 
Now let me tell you, if you like that, you better smash that like button now. Leave a comment. Did you find this challenging? Maybe you thought it was a crap workout. Either way, just let us know. But what you're gonna do is definitely subscribe to this channel because we have more awesome content coming out on a regular basis. More HIT training, more jump rope training, more calisthenic training. Until then guys, keep fit, have fun, and keep working.